But there have also been some challenges in vaccinating the entire country. Another concern, vaccine hesitancy. It's something some people in our area understand all too well as polio wreaked havoc back in the 1950s. 10 News reporter Alexis Davila shows us how they compare. Watching people wait in long lines to receive their coronavirus vaccine, Carla Pickerel is having a moment of nostalgia. Being lined up like you see pictures of soldiers lined up. Next one, get your shot, get your shot, get your shot. Carla, who was eight years old at the time, remembers lining up to get her dose of the polio vaccine. It's a similar feeling for the Cunninghams who inch closer and closer to get their coronavirus doses at the Berglund Center in January. They remembered boarding buses for the polio vaccinations and how excited they were to just get out of school. A day to get out of, out of school, <laughs> to go on a field trip, basically. But I remember we got a lollipop after. And of course, that was a big treat for a child back then. Judy remembers her two friends diagnosed with polio wearing braces on their legs, while Jim says his neighbor struggled with one on his neck. He couldn't, couldn't hold his head up and his brace to hold his head. A fearful reality for Carla when people were being treated at the hospital. They put them in those iron lungs that breathed for them. And it was a scary thing, I think, back then. Flash forward to now with more than half a million deaths in the U.S. from the coronavirus. The Ad Council is coming out in full force to encourage more people to get vaccinated. With more technology available, the Ad Council hopes the message would spread faster than in the 1950s. In a much quicker way than probably a slower build back in the days of polio. While Carla waits to get her dose, the Cunninghams will continue to help register their friends and neighbors to end this pandemic once and for all. More people that have a vaccine, hopefully it's going to work. And um, so, you know, anything we can do to help. In Roanoke, Alexis Davila, 10 News, working for you.